Hi, in this video, I'm looking at the reciprocal trigonometric functions. So what we're looking at is things, well, the functions cosecant, secant, and cotangent, and what they are and how they're defined. Now, the key to these is in their name. They're reciprocal trigonometric functions, which means that they are the reciprocal function of our original trig functions. So a reciprocal function is if I have a function f of x, the reciprocal function for that is 1 over that function f of x. So we just need to look at what's the respective reciprocal of these three. Now cosecant, which is shortened to cosec of an angle, is defined as being one over sine theta. And the only clause with this is of course that our denominator sine theta cannot be equal to zero. A zero, not theta, cannot be equal to zero. So we can't have the denominator be zero. So cosecant is undefined whenever sine is zero. Secant is shortened to sec and it's defined as one over cos of our angle. And just like with sine, it is not defined when cos is zero. And that would mean that cotangent, which is shortened to cot of our angle, is one over the tangent, or one over tan of the angle, which of course doesn't exist whenever tan theta equals zero. So we can't have tan be zero. So there are three reciprocal trigonometric functions. And I guess we're just going to look further into how these are defined so we know how to use them in our maths. So if we come over the side and have a look at what happens when we think about the definition of these with respect to a right angle triangle. So let's have this right angle triangle with this angle marked in it. So this is my hypotenuse, this is my adjacent, and this is my opposite side. If I think about one of my reciprocal trig functions, so let's start off with cosec. So cosec of theta we know is defined as one over sine. So let's have a look at what happens when we look at sine theta. So sine theta we know is opposite over hypotenuse. So that means that if cosec is one over sine theta, that means it must be the reciprocal of this fraction. And the reciprocal of a fraction is the fraction flipped upside down. So we would have hypotenuse over opposite. If we have a look, say, at secant of theta, which we know is 1 over cos of the angle, well, we know cos is the adjacent over hypotenuse. And so secant, which is the reciprocal, would be the hypotenuse over the adjacent. And then lastly, having a look at cotan, cot, of the angle, which we know is 1 over tan of the angle. Well, tan, we know, is defined as opposite over adjacent, which means that cotangent will be adjacent over opposite. So having a look at this gives us our three definitions for using these within our right angle triangles. We have cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite, cotangent is adjacent over opposite, and secant is a hypotenuse over adjacent. And so we can use these along with their sine, cos, and tan, or their 1 over sine, cos, and tan definitions to help us when we're doing our maths because we can look at the reciprocal of the fractions or the ratios when we are trying to do sort this out.